Hey, shalom, shalom. Let's one start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakodash. Double honors unto the elders at Great Millstone and Apostles. Salutation unto the Akiams pushing this word and enduring to the end. Shalom unto you, Aquat, and to you, Speckled with Israelites. This again is your brother Yassad from the Trinidad GMS Prophetic Vibration Camp. Bringing on to you another lesson, will it edifying, you know, to the spirit. Now this, this lesson here will be concerning the Lord will sustain us in those times. Because, hey, even now, a lot of brother have lost the, brothers lost their jobs due to, this, due to this pandemic. But the Lord... We actually seen as as little as it is, the Lord actually sustaining us and you know putting measures in place that we could eat and you know we could be able to maintain our family families. All praises to how about Shemir or Shai for that. But we know thing is just gonna continue to escalate and and become worse uh, because we we plan not to conform unto the system. But we plan to trust in Yahweh Hashem Yashai that He is going to provide for us. Can, uh, but hey, as the scriptures say, you know, like a lot of jakes, a lot of jakes did this, you know, due to the lack of knowledge, and the Lord had blind, blinded them from understanding the truth. They just staying within their simplicity. Go, you see now a lot of them lining up and going and taking the, 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 the you know, that, that injection. The lining up and hey, falling snake to the, to the, the trap of the system. Hmm. I'll tell you as the scripture say, I'll bring it out here. Second address 9 and 13. And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. And when... But inquire how the righteous shall be saved, though whose the will is and for whom the will is created. Yeah. So we know all not to worry about their their lot. Yeah. Because we know if they actually take if they actually take in that, that injection, right? Which is gonna eventually as you know, eventually bring out the, the MOTB, which we all know what this is, you know, mm. they take, they gonna take that mark, because, you see, now a lot of ads and a lot of, you know, um, a lot of advertisement are things coming digitally, mm. Well now we know we know it had this the Bitcoin the Bitcoin you know the but but the thing about it the Bitcoin the value are, it rises and it drops. Uh, so you actually don't even know what you know it is not sustainable. Hmm. But hey soon soon they're gonna roll out the agenda to bring out everything digitally. Just now you wouldn't be able to hire your same ID card that you have before. Because you're going to be given a unique identity as, as, as um, Dr. Keith Rowley say. The Prime Minister. Because they know they had their... Uh, the, because they are, they, they are the ones enforcing their agenda from the elites. Uh, so in stages they actually doing their thing. Uh, America... Um, donating free, free, you know, VX for us. Uh, but these these jigs down here, they just simple, no uproars. If they go, they go, the government they even had to give them a, a, a um a time limit at taking these things because they just rushing and going all out fit. Hmm. I to show you how they just want to go back into that into that sleep and into that delusion of the, the life that they, they was living. But hey, see what, eh? Soon we're gonna see, 
because the Lord is going to bring destruction and plagues upon this place. Hmm. All day through the Spirit, I believe that all day that had taken the, the, the injection, they, they are going to be side effects. Because hey, we, we, we see eh? we see people, you know, receive side effects of this and, and some died, so forth. But hey, I feel this is going to be, a, this actually is a bioweapon that is going to affect them sooner or later. To the spirit hmm. because yeah we, we ought not to trust this devil hmm. but hey we know when they actually roll out of this we wouldn't the men of the lord we wouldn't be able to to go about and uh, because we're not gonna conform to their agenda we're not gonna conform to the to, to their system because hmm. it, it is gonna be going against all the means a uh, 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 righteousness mm. but we're gonna trust in the Lord that he is gonna take care of us mm. but we know this because as the scriptures say look at the generation of, of all uh, and he that trusted in the Lord you know um, hey, let me just get the book of Ecclesiastes and ten you know it say look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded yeah because look at look at um Elijah when he was he was the last prophet remaining he trust he, he trust in the Lord but what the Lord tell him he reserve um seven seven thousand men that have not about to Baal but that 7,000 men type in the elect who not going on about it the system hmm. yeah hmm. look at look at Elijah when he was um, I think in, 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 in the land that was shit him in first kings how the Lord actually made the, the ravens to feed him like to show the power of Yahweh Hashem Shai uh, so even if we look at hey a matter of fact we could even go straight back into into the time of Moses the Lord actually rained manna from heaven to feed ourselves uh, when we was back out in the wilderness there and we 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 was hungry we prayed unto the Lord and what did the Lord do uh, he delivered food unto us well, praise the Lord, how about Hashem and Shai? So back then we ought to keep that trust in the Lord, just as we had back then. Uh, we ought to keep that trust in the Lord up to now, that He gonna provide for us and sustain us. The book of Luke, chapter twelve and verse twenty-four. Let me bring it down. Twelve and twenty-four. Let's see. Consider the ravens. For they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouses nor barn. Yeah, the birds, the fowls of the air, you know, the raven. They do, they do have, have stock, you know, storages of food. Hmm. They actually eat day, daily, day by day, just as this, just as this saying is, you know. The earliest bird get the sweetest worm. Hmm. It say, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and Yahweh feed them. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai feed all these animals. The Lord take care of all these plants. Hmm. Look at the forest. The Lord actually watering and, and nourishing the forest. Hmm. It say how much. More are ye better than the fowls? Hmm. Yeah. How much more are us, the elect, better than these fowls? So that that why we ought not to worry. Hmm. We might we might be on the last set of grocery in the house. But hey, the Lord might hey as the scriptures say, you know, they're gonna um entreat us. 
the Lord will cause them to entreat, treat us. So, someone or a family member, the Lord might just put his spirit upon them who have to come and give unto you. To just take care of you, some heathen. Uh, but hey, we don't know, you know. The, the works of the Lord is very wonderful and miraculous. Yeah. The book of um, Psalms, chapter 34. Okay. Book of Psalms, chapter 34, and verse 6. Let's see. The, this poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. Uh, because, hey, we're going to be the ones crying out upon the Lord. Hmm. We're gonna be crying on your how about Shemir Shai when we are in distress. Hmm. And we had our faith. No matter how 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 sticky that situation gets, you could you could end up in a con, con um, constitution camp. Hmm. At that time. Hmm. You know, because hey, they gonna put all the ones that not gonna conform to their system within their constitution camps. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Because the whole thing about it, all day that that not they don't want they don't want no no nobody coming up against them. Because we speak against the system just as just as Paul Peter and them, you know, they wasn't conforming to that, that, that wicked, that wickedness within their, that their authority and within their system, uh, and the same thing, the same thing within this system, a set of gay marriages, a set of unjust doings, uh, the men of the Lord, we, we not gonna stand for that, we not gonna be down for that, because we, we want a, we actually want a system that, you know, is just righteousness, uh, just doings. Look at look at how much bribery is going. Look at what has gone in court systems. Uh, a lot of unjust. Uh, but hey, we know all of this here is just for a time and a season. Uh, yeah, the book of Isaiah, chapter 65. Isaiah, chapter 65, and verse 13. It said, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, uh, and ye shall be hungry. Because all this, all this fight, hyperinflation going on right now, a lot of factories being closed uh, look at it do even have no, it don't have no street food selling nothing the only thing you might get is, is um um vegetable stalls and thing open on the grocery but there's only a matter length of period at time for these things to run out because uh, there's no endless supply of these things uh, and with the borders being closed Within Trinidad, um, there's a lot of imports being done. And a lot of these food they, they actually make and grocery, the, the raw materials are imported as well to make these things. Hmm. So there's going to come a time where there will be farming. But hey, the men of the Lord, we are no, we are no worry about that. Because the scripture said, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Yeah. Hmm. We gonna, we gonna, hey, right now, we supposed to be in, enjoying the spirit. To actually be seeing all these prophecies coming to pass yeah because we know that none of the, the words that the Lord is going to return void unto him everything that is written in the scriptures we believe 
that it is going to come to pass. All the prophecies that is pending is going to come to pass. Uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 40. Uh, because this year is, is where the, the, fear, the fear of the Lord comes in. Uh, as, as the scripture say, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of um, a knowledge. Uh, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. 40 and verse 26. It says riches and strength lift up the heart. Hmm. But hey, yeah, the riches and strength it make you feel it give you that, that joy and that proud. Hmm. The, right now the wicked in rulership they are all the riches. Hmm. They are all the strength. Hmm. But the fear of the Lord is above them both. Hmm. And who gonna have the fear of the Lord? The elect. Hmm. Just as the faith in the Lord, because faith was, was given unto them straight from, from the womb. Hmm. Yeah. Is only the elect gonna fit these criteria, just as it's say in Romans 11. Um, what then had. Had had not Israel seek it what the Lord was looking for, roughly paraphr roughly paraphrasing. But it's a what? The ob the election have ob have obtained it. Yeah. The one hundred and forty four thousand. Lord willing that I am of of the elect. You know? Hmm. Yeah. It said there is no want in the fear of the Lord. Hmm. Yeah, because hey, the, the, the scripture say this is the conclusion of the matter. Fear the Lord and keep his commandments. Because everybody had their part to play. Without you, without you doing as the Lord instruct you, he is not gonna guide you. He's not gonna protect you in those times. Hmm. It's simple as that. Hmm. Let's see. And it needed not to seek help. The fear of the Lord is a fruitful garden and covered him above all glory. Yeah. Uh, the book of um, Second Ezra, chapter 16 and verse 76. It say, I will start at verse 75. It say, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For Yahweh is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. So this year is this year is what gonna actually be sustaining the elect in those times by they keeping the, the the fear of the Lord and the Lord commandments. Uh, because you being a servant unto the Lord, the Lord is gonna take care of you. Hmm. And precepts say the Lord Yahweh. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Yeah. Because the 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 law the law at the at the Lord is the way a eh, how to you know avoid sin. Mm. To avoid transgressing the law, you, you ought to be keeping the law. Mm. You know? Ecclesiasticus one one and fourteen let's say to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and it was created with the faithful in the womb just as I was saying earlier on just bringing it out for edification's sake. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. So we have enough faith for the Lord as we fear in what the Lord can do unto us. If we keep not the Lord's commandments. Hmm. Yeah. The book of Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 19. Let's see, so they, so shall they 
fear the name of the Lord from the west and his from from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up his standard against him. Yeah. So in in that time and whatever situation we might be in, you know, because the whole thing about it, they're gonna they're gonna actually set up a set of you know things in place whereby you wouldn't be able to move about without having this 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 job. Hmm. Yeah, all day that the that the the real the pick up one that that not gonna have not gonna conform onto the system and wouldn't take that that so called cure. They're gonna they're gonna lock them up. Hmm. Yeah. So when the when the when the they they had their system in place, you know, no matter what the Lord is gonna the Lord is gonna raise up a standard to protect us. Hmm. Yeah, so we ought not we ought not to worry. As as the scripture says in Isaiah 3, 3 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Hmm. We understanding the, the the prophecies we do in the, 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 the will of the Lord, yeah, how about Shem and Shai? Hmm. Yeah, all I just say is, is you know key key points and we being sustained in, in those time. Hmm. Yeah, this last scripture here I'll bring out and, and, and rack up that, you know. Book of Psalms chapter thirty seven and verse forty. It say, and the Lord shall help them, and deliver deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked, and save them, because they trust in Him. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, I'm I'm a tough I will start at verse thirty nine. It say, but the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. Hmm. Yeah, because we know we. We we gonna be redeemed from the Lord, just as we gonna be protected from the Lord. We gonna be fed from the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Yahweh Shemeshai is our strength. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Psalms eighteen and verse ten. You know, it say um the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and is safe. Hmm. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Hey, well, I hope this lesson was edifying. In Shalom, double honors unto the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom.